sunnati Ma qala al-nabi huwa sahih Nikahun mubarakun Nikahun mubarakun Zawajun mubarakun Al-nikahun min sunnati Ma qala al-nabi huwa sahih Nikahun mubarakun Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome again, brothers and sisters, to another episode in the series called Marriage and Divorce. With myself is our Sheikh Khaytham Al Haddad, who currently resides in the UK and is on the board of the Islamic Sharia Council of Britain. He's also the founding member of the website www.islam21c.com. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi We took the last episode and spoke about the the time before we want to think about divorce. Yeah. We mentioned that we don't want to jump to divorce. And we didn't have enough time, so we said we'll spend some more time discussing it. Yes. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. I was trying to list a few questions that every single one of the spouses should think about when he or she want to conclude the issue of divorce where they want to confirm that they must go for a divorce. Yeah? So I listed a number of questions. For example, are you going to marry again? Are you going to stay single? Are you going to marry another person? Will the other person be better than this person, the husband or the wife? Okay? Will I be easily satisfied with the other person after my previous experience? Then let us move to the children. What will happen to my children? Now, who is going to look after my children? Both, husband and wife. Especially if you're in the West. Especially in the West. The wife might say, well, my husband was rude to me, but wallahi, he was looking after the children. He was good to his children. I have to admit. And by the way, unfortunately, the Western lifestyle built everything on, you know, fiction. Mm -hmm. Not reality. Yeah? They raise the expectations of women, of wives, that if he's not romantic to you, then he's not the best partner. Yeah, he might not be romantic to me, but he's good to his children. Allah will give me, we have so many stories of sisters who sacrifice because of their children, and Allah Jalla wa ala gave them a lot because of their children. Mm -hmm. This is the thing we need to remember, that all this is to please Allah. To please Allah and to look at the bigger picture, not to the small picture. Now, in many Western countries, because they don't believe in Allah, they don't believe in the Akhirah, this is not in their mind at all, so they want a romantic life in this dunya. And Wallahi, they don't get it. And of course, this is based on films and media. And and films and media, fiction, fiction, oh, you know, okay? This is not real. Virtual life that does not really exist. It definitely doesn't exist 24-7 in the marriage. Without a shadow of a doubt. You see, we as Muslims, with all these guidelines given by Allah and his messenger, yeah, sometimes we are unable to implement them perfectly, yet, yeah, with all of these guidelines, I mean, still we have problems. Imagine if they don't have guidelines and each party is cheating on the other party. This is very common. Legally. Well. And it is legal, yeah? And can we imagine that they are living a romantic life? Come on, come on, yeah? That is impossible. We know the facts and the figures, and those who do not believe in the facts and the figures, they just should do a very simple Google search. I mean, the whole marriage will be a lie. Yes, case. yeah. So, my point is, you might, as the Prophet ﷺ said, about the man disliking one of the qualities of his wife, if he doesn't like one quality, he might like another quality. Similarly, the wife is commanded to obey her husband, to try to please him, etc., etc., and try to look at the positive side of him. Yeah? The righteous woman, qanitat, mean obedient, not aggressive, not rude, not independent. Okay? So this has to be taken into consideration. Yeah, this question about the children. Then in the West, the issue of the custody of the children, the access of the children, bringing up the children, 
I don't know of any woman who has been divorced and has a number of children, except she regretted that she was divorced, or she will say, I need a father figure for my children. Mm. Of course. If they were righteous ladies, because she's afraid of losing them. Yeah? They need a father figure, and in particular, in particular who? Not boys, but girls. We have explained this before. Anyway, so these are some of the questions I want my dear sisters to think about them before they come up with a conclusion that they have to leave their husbands. And similarly, the brothers have to think about them before they come up with a conclusion that they have to leave their wives. Okay? Divorce, my dear brothers and sisters, is a decision. And if we follow the right procedure of divorce, then we will see that Sharia likes to push us to make it a decision rather than just a, a conclusion we jump to it or a punishment we punish the other person with. SubhanAllah. So in that case, we've spoken about a few points where, that we should think about before we get to the conclusion of divorce. But as part of this step, is it possible to get other people involved? For example, an arbitrator. Ah, yes, this is a good point. Jazakallah khair. This is a good point. Allah Jalla wa Ala says, فَإِنْ خِفْتُمْ شِقَاقَ بَيْنِهِمَا فَابْعَثُوا حَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهِ وَحَكَمًا مِنْ أَهْلِهَا إِنْ يُرِيدَ إِصْلَاحًا يُوَفِّقِ اللَّهُ بَيْنَهُمَا This is a very good point. Jazakallah khair. Allah Jalla wa Ala says in this ayah, okay, if you fear that there will be a dispute between both of them and that the relationship will reach to an irreconcilable point, Send a hakam, arbitrator, from her family, and send an arbitrator from his family. And those arbitrators should be advised what to do. Okay? Either if those arbitrators, both arbitrators, want to mend the things, to reconcile the things between the spouses, Allah Jalla wa Ala will help the arbitrators. This is one explanation. The other explanation that the ayah is referring, or this part of the ayah is referring to the spouses. In yurida islahan. Yeah? If the spouses want really to find a solution for their problems, Allah Jalla wa Ala will guide them to the best. Of course, if they, if they don't want to... Allah Jalla wa Ala will help them, or Allah Jalla wa Ala will guide them to rectify the matters between themselves. Now, this is a very important concept in Islam, that sometimes me and my wife might reach to a point where we are unable either to communicate or to resolve the problems. Yeah? I say to her that, listen, this is your mistake, and she says, listen, this is your mistake. I said to her, I told you 100 times, don't do this, and you keep doing it. And she might say, yes, because it is the correct thing. And you don't understand that what you are telling me to do is wrong. Darling, no. What you are doing is wrong. No. What you are doing is wrong. We came to a dead point. Yeah? Now, if we leave it to that stage, it might escalate. Of course. So, Allah Jalla wa Ala is basically saying to us, go for counseling. Yeah? But this counseling is like a mediator, not just counseling. Mm -hmm. Or it can be counseling, can act as a mediator. Sometimes this point is just you need someone to kind of give you a small, small hit just to take you out of the situation. Yes, and look from yes, the that is true. And sometimes you just need to speak about the problem to others. Brother Daniel, brothers, sisters, in many cases in the Islamic Sharia Council or in Reconcile, yeah, we have an organization called Reconcile to help brothers and sisters to fix their problems. Couples come. Okay, can you tell me what is the problem? They just mention silly things. You know, silly things. Lots of small things. Lots of small things. And when they, for example, I said, when they listen to me saying that, is this your problem? Is this the only problem you have? And then they say, well, yes, why? I said, come on, this is not a problem. This is not a real problem. Seriously. Oh, no. My dear brothers and sisters, 
you because you haven't seen other problems yeah you think that your problem is the biggest problem in the world so sometimes as you said just by speaking to a third party this will just take you from the thinking of divorce take you away step back yeah so Allah Jalla Ala said send an arbitrator from her family and arbitrator from your family yeah from the family of the wife and the family of the husband those arbitrators the scholars mentioned that they should be sane people wise people they should have some experience etc and they should sit with both of them in order to what reconcile to reconcile and first of all to see what the problem is and you would expect the, the main reason to get someone from his family and her family because they would be interested to keep the marriage together. Uh, to, they will be interested to keep the marriage and there will be a fair representation or fair hearing because it is not only one-sided. Mm. Yeah, it is not just from the husband's side or from the wife's side, both sides. And those both sides should really aim to reconcile between both of them, if they want to reconcile, Allah Jalla wa Ala will put khair and Allah Jalla wa Ala will give them tawfiq and guidance. And this is practiced, by the way, in many societies. For example, I have to praise the Somali community in Britain. Normally, they come to us, the couples from Somali background, as the last resort. Okay. After they go to their elders, this is their word. We have our elders. This social setup, by the way, is part of our social setup to fix our marriages. Now in Britain, by the way, the law in 2011, I think, 2011 or 10, that no divorce case will be held before counseling. counseling yeah? Which we already start as Muslims a long time ago. So that we will continue, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, please return to us after the break where we shall continue this discussion between myself and Sheikh Haytham Al Haddad. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A servant is not afflicted with any punishment greater than having a stiff heart and being away from the Almighty, the Compassionate. Hearts are God's vessels on the earth. The most beloved ones to Him are the softest and the most purest. If hearts are nourished with God's remembrance and quenched with his meditation, it will witness great wonders and deep wisdom. Since our hearts are enlaced with layers of oblivion, we need to cleanse them to stand sound and pure before Allah. To know more, Join us on Peace TV's new series on Healing Hearts, where we can join together the caravan of the sincere servants of Allah. Let's try and purify our hearts from all destructive sins to taste true success in Healing Hearts. Tonight at 11.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 12.30 p.m. India on Peace TV. What would you recommend? Peace TV presents something What do you have to say about Learning the wise way What would you recommend us to take as career? After we pass our school, so what exactly we should do? What do you have to say about pursuing two fields together? Ideas brilliant Strategy sustained The best profession is a professional person who invites people to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Avail the opportunity with Dr. Zakir. Depending upon what is your interest, but the main aim should be to spread the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To implement the convincing Islamic come educational formula to excel in your career, watch Career Guidance tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. and repeat telecast at 9.30 a.m. India on Peace TV. A man, a mission, 
a world-renowned orator on Islam and comparative religion. He dedicated more than five decades of his life for Dawa. Ahmad Didad. We Muslims believe that Jesus was the Christ. This book is an eternal book of guidance for you and for me, for the whole of mankind. It's a solution to the problems of mankind. The miracle is when you expect a man to be dead and he's alive. That's a miracle. Man with a Mission, next on Peace TV. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome again, brothers and sisters, to the continuation of this discussion between myself and Sheikh Haitham al Haddad on the steps and the issues that we should think about before we get to the issue of divorce. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi. You were just praising the Islamic system. The Islamic system and how we should get arbitrators involved if yes. it gets to the stage of divorce. Yeah. We were just talking also about who should be the arbitrators? You said yeah. someone from his side and someone from her side. From her side. Because they will be the ones interested to keep the family together. Yes, yeah. And that this step should be before actually going to the judge. Before coming to the conclusion that we want to divorce. By the way, <laughs> when I was preparing for this episode, subhanAllah, someone sent it to me on WhatsApp, yeah? A message, then I remembered another message that I read before, which is ajeeb. I was thankful to Allah Jalla that reading this message today, today, about the in-laws, by the way, yeah, we need to discuss this issue. A lady, uh, maybe it is a fiction story, a lady went to a doctor and told him that, listen, I'm living with my mother-in-law and she's giving me hard time. She's giving me hard time. She's an elderly lady anyway. And she's going to die. But she's giving me headache. I can't live with her. So he said, what do you want? He said, listen, she's ill anyway and she's going to die. Can you give me some medicine that will accelerate her death? Yeah? So she will die quickly. And khalas, we will solve the problem. She is anyway dying. So the doctor said, okay, no problem, but legal, not legal. We are not talking about legal, not legal. He said, I'll give you some medicine yeah, that will make her dying slowly, slowly. But you have to be careful because of the legality, murder, not murder. You need to use it carefully. You need to hide it, of course. And don't give her an impression that you are harming her. In fact, you should pretend that you are nice and treat her kindly, etc., etc., until she passes away peacefully and that's it. So she said, well, that's good. That's a good idea. He said, this is the medicine. Yeah? So he gave her the medicine, two drops in the food every day. So she started, when she prepares the food, she now, because anyway her mother-in-law is going to die anyway, and she needs to give her the impression that she has nothing to do with any murder or killing her. Yeah? She has to be nice. And... She has to be nice, and she wants to prepare the food for her. So she wants to have the trust of her mother-in-law. Oh, darling, oh, yeah, take a rest, I'll prepare the food for you. Don't worry, don't worry. So she prepares the food and she puts two drops and she presents the food. Is the food nice? Darling, come on, have some food. No, 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 no. My mother or I don't know what they say about, to their mother. -in -law. No, my mother-in-law, look after yourself. Yeah, let me just feed you. So she was doing this, doing this, doing this. Then the mother-in-law said, well, this lady is very nice. She's looking after me. Yeah. So the mother-in-law started to love her. So the relationship improved. Yeah. So they started to love each other. Yeah. Because now the mother-in-law sees that this lady is looking after her. So slowly, slowly, the tension was reduced. And then an element of love or attachment started to build up. Maybe not real, this is something else, okay? But the mother-in-law really started to love this lady, okay? And she used to say, well, this lady, she's looking after me, she's looking after her husband. So sometimes she would say, no, 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 darling, your husband is coming, go for him, I'm okay, I'm okay. After some time, this lady, this uh, wife, 
said, wow, now I will, because of this poison or medicine, she will die. She's really a nice lady, and maybe I am the one who killed her. Oh, what shall I do? So she went to the doctor and said, please, please, okay, can you give me a medicine? Just first of all, I want to stop this medicine. And can you give me a medicine to help her? He said, why? Come on, it's not a joke. One time you want to get rid of her, another time you want her to live more. He said, I don't know what happened. She became a very nice lady. I don't know what happened. She is very nice, very sweet. I want her to remain in my life more. So the doctor laughed. And he said to her, my daughter, listen, when you came to me, I knew that you have a problem. The problem is not in your mother in law. The problem is here. See, I haven't met, he told her that, I haven't met your mother in law. I haven't told her anything. But I told you to change the way you deal with her, and you will see things changing automatically. So she said, What do you mean? He said, I just gave you some water with some maybe ingredients to, yeah? That was water, nothing, it was not poison. Now, this is a symbolic, maybe, uh, yeah. Yeah, story. To show that what? Actions. Yeah. We can rectify many problems by our actions, by our attitude, by our smile. Mm -hmm. In the Quran, we always read this verse in the Quran, or these verses. وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا الْسَيِّئَةُ إِدْفَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَا أَحْسَنُ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌّ حَمِيمٌ وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٌ حسنة is not like the سيئة Good is not like the bad Yeah, respond to the bad with the good إدفع بالتي هي أحسن Yeah, respond with a good way Okay, good way, good will, good actions بالحسنة فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ He has enmity towards you. Because you responded in a good way, what will happen? كَأَنَّهُ وَلِي Very close companion. حَمِيم Very close to you. But who can do this? وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا الَّذِينَ صَبَرُوا Those who have control over their emotions. صَبَرُوا here means those who have صَبَر. صَبَر means what? صَبَر means I can control my emotions. وَمَا يُلَقَّاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَظٍ عَظِيمٍ means this person who got it, he will have a great amount or a level of virtues. This is very hard. Because it is very hard. Yeah? There was another story. <laughs> I don't know. All those stories were about what? Women. Yeah? And wives. Now, some wives might see that this is... One-sided. Yeah, this is one-sided. But... I would like to remind my sisters, the wives, of what I have said previously, and I will say it again and again, that show your husband love and obedience. Yeah? Show him love and obedience. Don't argue with him. Try to please him, and you will see how life it changes. Mm. We said this how... is the secret formula. Mm. We mentioned how the, the woman is actually, she can control the family. She can control the family, and... The last thing, maybe before we talk about the technicality of the divorce, we need to talk about all of us, me and my wife, the husband and the wife, the males and the females should look at themselves as what complementing each other rather than competing with each other. I am a man, you are a man. We have so many men here, mashallah, the camera people here, yeah, are men, alhamdulillah, we have no women to film us. If you ask them, what do you want from your wife? I want what? A wife that is what? Obedient. Obedient, showing love to me. Then after that, she will take everything from me. So, my dear sister, you can be the queen of the house if you make him the lion of the den. As simple as this. Okay, we don't have time. Let us talk about this issue of complement each other rather than compete with each other. I will mention one thing, this point, okay? Let him be the lion in his den, yeah? And the husband should let her be the queen of her own kingdom. Now, for my dear brothers, 
there are, you know, sometimes I say to myself, to remind myself, I am heavily dependent on laptops. If my laptop goes wrong, I become mad. Yeah? Now, sometimes my wife is telling me that the washing machine is not working or is not working properly. And I say, you know, these women, they want everything perfect. Yeah? They want everything perfect. Darling, come on, you can do it. It is still working. Yeah? Then I start thinking about myself. Do we have time to explain what do I say to myself? We will have the explanation in the next episode. In the next episode? So the audience will, inshallah, wait for the next episode. Okay, no problem. Brothers and sisters, please return to us in the next episode where we shall continue to hear the story between the Sheikh and his wife. And we will then move on to the issue of divorce. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.